So throughout your time as a leader, you will need to give people your intent. Leaders have to be able to communicate intent. In the Army, we call this commander's intent. For business, it could be business intent. But the concept is the same, vision, intent. What are you doing? There are three subcomponents to the way we explain commander's intent. And that is, first, the purpose. The overall purpose of the operation of your, of your mission. What are you trying to achieve? The second thing is key tasks. Three or four, not too many, not a laundry list of everything, but the top two or three or four key tasks that have to be accomplished in order to achieve that purpose. And then lastly, a end state. What does it look like when you win? What does it look like when you are completed with your operation? How does that look and what does success look like? If you can translate that into simple words so that every person in your organization understands the purpose, the key tasks, and the end state, you can then have a force that is empowered to move in the right direction, no matter what happens, even when the leaders aren't there, when the plan no longer makes sense, and they have to take a decision on their own. And I say take a decision, because they're going to be in a situation where they're going to have to decide what to do. And if you want to empower people to do that, so there's no hesitation, so there's no wastage, there's no loss, and they're moving in the right direction, you need to explain intent. It is also, for our U.S. military, a key subcomponent of mission command. You cannot have effective mission command without a clear commander's intent. And that means it must be practiced and it must be driven into your, into your heart and into your head in a way that you can do it in any time, even when you're wet, cold, hungry, and tired. Commander's intent.